Greetings, lovers of mystery and magic, to yet another tale from the elusive town of Everhaven. Today, we follow the pitiful life of one William Smith Blythe, who... Is that, is that my name? Yeah. This one's about me. Yeah. You read the script in advance like I asked you to, right? Fart sound effect. Theme song plays. Welcome back to TCR On Air, the show where we talk about everyone and everyone. Today is our second ever Spotlight episode, which, if you don't remember, is uh, when we bring on a fellow creator or a like-minded individual onto the show, and we talk to them about them, because we love to enable narcissism. So today, I, of course, am Leaf, makes code red, and I'm joined by Tangerine Aaron, who I Yay. think... Uh, should get the right to introduce our special guest for the evening. What? Oh my gosh. Today, we have a very a very special guest with us. Absolute genius. Perfect. Angel. Starving. Uh, you're, college you're, you're, student. I think mean, you're, you're hyping me up a little much. I Narrator. definitely shouldn't have let you introduce him. It is not other than my life. the voice of Everhaven's narrator, William Smith Blythe. Woo! That's me. Hey, <laughs> Welcome to the show, William. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> All right, we're done. See you next week. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as, as I mentioned, Will here is uh, he provides the voice of the narrator in the Town of Everhaven audio show, which if you uh -huh. have not streamed the whole first season of, you should go do that. Uh, Aaron and I are in it. All of TCI is in it. True, true. Even more cool people are in it. And Will narrates. He's pretty good at it. Yeah. No, oh, thank you. So we decided it would only be right to bring him on as, of course, our trusted narrator and Tangerine's beloved boyfriend. Kind uh -huh. of see what's going on in that big old brain of his. Yeah, there's not much. There's like a shriveled, <laughs> moldy cave in there. You know what? If we can use it for content, it's fine. Oh, it's got content. You could say that. Also, plug. Also, the star of our first, our first official. Studio Code Red animatic, True. which people should oh. go watch. But Code after Red. this, yeah, watch this. Listen to this in its entirety first, then go watch everything else we've made. Yeah, yeah. I fall asleep to uh, to the animatics every night. Yeah. <laughs> the whole like what two that we have posted? Yeah, no, I just play them on loop. Six you just loop videos. those to like fifteen seconds. <laughs> Anyway, we'll, we'll get started with some proper questions. So, William, first, tell tell our audience, who are you? What do you do? What is your life? What are your goals, aspirations? I think last time we asked Toby a social security number. So throw that in there, too. Give I, us don't the whole my, I don't know my social security number, but uh, <laughs> so I'm Will. Uh, I'm a film student. I'm currently going to film school in my second year. I just finished my second year, so I'm going into my third year now. Uh, and yeah, I do lots of film stuff. I like making videos. Most of them are pretty dumb, but I don't know. I just like making that kind of stuff. Um, I'm looking to go into like editing and that kind of thing and more like the post-production stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah. cute. <laughs> Blushes. Yeah, your persona asset, it doesn't blush. So thank you for... Yeah, okay. <laughs> you you can just, just imagine. Yeah. Well, we're all blushing right when now. I, when I like turn purple, that's just me blushing. I'm yeah. blushing so hard. Can we get a little, like, cue a flashback to the Valentine's episode where we talked about how Will and Aaron started dating as soon as we were done that episode? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, don't actually cue the flashback. No, yeah, that was not, I was not, I had no idea you guys were filming a podcast though. Oh, it's just the magic of how it works. So uh -huh. let's talk about how we all know each other. But Aaron and Will, of course, you guys got to tell your story first. Um, well, yeah, I mean... Don't put that in. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so you were saying, uh, I think I actually met you guys at around the same time back in high school, right? Yeah. Pretty much in the same drama class, no? Yeah. I think so. Well, I, I met you way, way earlier than that. You just hadn't met Did you? When, when did I meet you earlier? When, when I was in middle school, I saw you in a uh, high school theater production of The Mousetrap. Oh, uh, right. I think, uh, you know what? I do remember you telling me that you saw that. Yeah, I saw I saw that in eighth grade, and I was like, wow, this school's theater department is pretty cool. 
<laughs> oh. And then I, I I remember seeing you like walking to your bus one day, and I was like, "That's the tall guy with the voice that was in the play." With the voice, yeah. I, I, I man, it's been so long since I've done that play. It's hard to remember like any details about it, and then I had to like be grumpy and yell a lot. The <laughs> yeah. first time I saw Will was when I was in grade in nine, grade and nine. I was like, "Wow, first day of, of high school, how epic!" And then I was like walking in the halls. And I saw him like sitting by his locker, and I was like, "Whoa, oh. that is not true. That's a lie." No, that is true. <laughs> okay, all right. I saw him like sitting by. And he was like, maybe it wasn't the first day, but it was like at some point he was like sit, just like sitting by his locker, and I was like, "Huh." And then I, you, you were like a a, a grade rep, so I like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, gotta I feel go. like I like. I feel like I heard you like give us give a give a little speech or something at some point. Probably, yeah. And I was like, sounds like <laughs> a thing that could have happened. I I, I wish I had a I wish I had a man. I wish I had a cute story like that. But I I think the first time that I remember meeting you was in the drama class. Yeah, and then we became improv pals. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, true. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we might have mentioned Will on the theater podcast episode. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't remember I did an improv. You were you, you guys. You you were on the well, or Aaron. You were on the senior team and Leaf. I was on the senior right. team. Uh, I was on the was junior on the team junior. as an imposter. I was senior age. They just needed an. <laughs> oh yeah, team. right, right. Yeah, I remember. That. Yeah, and then I became uh, friends with Aaron and drinking buddies with Aaron, and then <laughs> what drinking? What? what? Not on this podcast. <laughs> Not on this podcast. Drank water to stay hydrated. It's yeah, and dude. then we drank so much water. <laughs> we drank so much water that we started feeling a little funny, and I was in the dryer. Yeah, Aaron's a, Aaron's a bit of a goofy character, and she just hopped in the dryer. Yeah, she's kind of the worst. Yeah, and then uh, and then we yeah we started hanging out more. Mm-hmm, we started mm-hmm. drinking wa- a lot of the water together more. Lots of water. <laughs> We started playing games together, like Terraria yep. and Minecraft, Stardew. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I know. asked her out at, like, the worst possible time, apparently. No, it was no, the best. It was the best, best possible time. Best well, I, 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 I guess so. Yeah, I no, it was really... you from your podcast. I mean, I guess it was, like, good content at the end. It was but... perfect content. We got a post credit scene thing, too. We did. I don't know if you yeah. watched that or not. But... I have watched it. Oh, uh, Oh, no. uh, look at you. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Aaron. Don't well, you told me to watch it. You were like, hey, you should watch this when it comes out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, okay, we were doing the Valentine's episode. We were reading my funny little fan fiction that I found. And mm-hmm. then the episode was ending, and I was texting you throughout the episode. Don't tell uh, my boss, Leaf. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't tell me. I'll get really mad. Yeah. And then, um,. <laughs> You were like in a meeting or something, right? I I was I like right after I told you I had to go to a meeting, right? And then um, we were like just about to finish the episode, and I was supposed to do the outro, and I just saw a message from you, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. and then I was like the last few minutes, I was like, yeah, and then Leaf had to do the outro, and then the, <laughs> I was like, guys, is the record? Have we turned off the recording? And Ryan was like, yeah. And I was like, we'll just ask Rio. And then everyone was screaming. Oh, that's cute. (laughs) And you two have been straight together ever since. Pretty much. Straight, all right. You guys should have. Well, we were talking about Valentine's. You guys should talk about what you got each other for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Justify my presence, third wheeling here. Yeah, yeah. We both commissioned an art piece for each other through the very talented Mix Code Red. Oh, no stop. Well, I, was in, I was in call with. I don't think Will was in that call, but I was in call with Leaf, and then all of a sudden I got like deafened, and I was like, oh, what's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> and then I was like, hee hee, Will, look what I got you. And I, I gave him the the photo and then he was like huh, well that's quite interesting <laughs> yeah I, I said exactly that i was cackling the night that i got will's message because i'd been working on the commission for aaron for a few weeks at that point i'd just been slacking and then when will texted me i literally 
I was like, oh, now this is some this is some cartoon shenanigans right here. We uh-huh. should put put those on screen right now. Can we get those on screen? <laughs> wow, look it. how awesome those are. Wow. Can we guess who was whose is the Yu-Gi-Oh one? <laughs> <laughs> that was honestly so wholesome. I, I was honored to be um getting your money. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, so really, exciting. Really, but that wasn't that wasn't even the only thing because then you also you made me your own art. Thing. I I did I did. I was like, but I was oh, like, yeah. uh, oh my god, the or only I kind us, of art that I'm not atrocious at is like vector art and illustrator. I made us yeah, okay, cringe little context. matching bracelets. I'm not yeah. cringe. I still have mine. I wear mine every day. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. Oh, Horrible. Yeah, we're Horrible. pretty cool. Well, as much as I'd love to just hear you guys be cute and awful, uh, I, I think we should we should segue to the thing that we we're going to talk about. Oh yeah. Right. Well, uh, so I know for a fact, Will, I've I've seen I've seen a few of your works as a film student, a few of mm-hmm. your short films. So right. Well, tell me the audience about some of your favorite projects you've made, because I've seen a few from uh, Will Smith Conscious right. Productions. Uh, well, have you seen the ones that I made just like in my room where I'm like killing myself as a clone? Those were pre-film school. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, this year I worked on like a short documentary that's been circling around some film festivals in the Toronto area, which is pretty cool. It's about like stage actors in Toronto during the like early stages of the pandemic called When the Stage Lights Go Out. Look it up if you are so inclined. I think it should be should be should be public on YouTube by now, I think. Kind of at its festival run. I did the the sound for that. With all the sound recording and I also did the uh, all the visual effects and the titles and everything. All right, go off. Yeah, and then uh, I just finished doing the editing for a short drama piece that was filmed in the studio at the college where I go. It was a bit of a rocky production, but it came out in the end, and it's pretty good. Oh, oh, he's so called. talented. Oh, <laughs> that one won't be available for a while because it's got to remain like private, just the way that like you have to submit them to festivals and everything. It's like mm-hmm. you can't. And a lot of festivals want to be like the first one to show it, so you can't have like shown yeah. it anywhere else. Especially if they're charging money. Yeah, yeah. Like part of like our, <laughs> I I don't touch any of the the money stuff if I can help it, but uh, part of like sometimes you just like have our... to embezzle. <laughs> what? Stop embezzling from company funds, Aaron. <laughs> no. How else am I going to get my Yu Gi Oh Funko Pops? I was just going to make a joke about. Seeing Yu-Gi-Oh receipts in the TCR bank account. <laughs> they're they're a morale boost. They're an investment. Oh right, okay, business expense. Yeah, but yeah. No, you can write those That's off. Right. <laughs> okay. We'll make content out of them. We'll find a way. <laughs> Put them in the on right that room. on that perfectly good and valid note. I'm just gonna change the bank account information real quick. Sorry, I did it. Can we can we have that up on the screen too? <laughs> yeah, the bank account information. Here you yeah. guys go. Please. <laughs> Instead of subscribing to our Patreon, take yeah, everything from just put just we trust you to just put the money right in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, a few others that I was specifically referring to is one starring another TCR member, Matthew Glint Jones. Oh uh, right, that was my that was my short film in first year. I've I've kind of blocked that one out of my memory. That was a bit of a um, that, hey, that was interesting. Girl, to record. My mom liked it. So your mom, oh, you showed your mom it. Of course I should my mom. She wanted to see it. She was like oh. she was insisting. She was like, I can't it, it has Will posted any of his projects? And I was like, Yeah, there's one. You wanna see it? She was like, Yes. And then she said, Oh, he's so talented. Well, for any uh aspiring filmmakers out there, my my one piece of advice I learned from that is don't act in your own stuff. It's a nightmare. One piece. Yeah, no. oh you beat me to oh. it. <laughs> How did One Piece reader here caught up? No life, bozo. This is when Thomas Cocoon makes a pop pop in. No, when uh, are we gonna for... get it? have the podcast where we just put Will and Thomas in a room and they talk about One Piece? I, dude, we like now because like now is like the no. time. This is like the best time to do it. <laughs> I'm not even. Don't laugh. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it really, it's your type right now. Don't say. Don't laugh. That makes me laugh. 
I love Will. Any, any, any of the One Piece viewers will know. I'm not, I'm not lying. It's hype right now. All right. I'll, uh, I'll trust you, I guess. Match made in heaven, folks. Yu-Gi-Oh! fan meets One Piece fan. <laughs> I, I'm also a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. I'm yeah. I'm working on I'm working on Doctor okay, okay. Aaron into the the One Piece. Oh, right mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get really? way back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Just you wait. I still have all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Just you what? Just you yeah. wait till I show you Dark Side of Dimensions. If you haven't seen it, I, I have seen it. it. Have you? That's the movie, right? Good, right? Yeah, I liked it. I was hot. They gave him abs. It's really cool. Yeah. It really works up the sweat of playing cards all day. <laughs> or many ways, scratches. Yeah, uh, let's uh, let's move on from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, yeah, Kaiba's a bit of a, a bit of a sore spot. Yeah, sure. Kaiba's honestly the worst. Anyway, so William, let's, let's talk again about <laughs> you, uh, your involvement with the TCR family. Because of course, you're you're dating Aaron. Um, right. You and I danced that one time at a school dance. So that counts for something, right? Mm -hmm. and I do, I do like that. That. Yeah, that was a good time. I feel like we told this story to some of our other friends recently, but I remember you and I both went, we didn't have dates, and so we were just, like, destroying the dance floor. Oh, yeah. Bohemian... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. No, Bohemian Rhapsody came on, and we did, like, a dramatic, like, performance of, to the lyrics. Did we? Actually, I forget. I, I, I I've, 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 like, I've, like, blocked those school dances out of my brain. That's fair. I just remember looking into your eyes. Okay, now <laughs> and thinking I'm not attracted to Yeah. Good kidding. Yeah. Kidding. Good save. Good save. It was it was a good save. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, um, I I've uh I've been involved on pretty much all the Everhaven episodes. Or not pretty much. I was on all the Everhaven episodes. <laughs> I thought TCR Glint grabbed your ass and uh Oh yeah, I forgot oh, yeah, that was that was for a high school <laughs> film project. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was improv. He, he, he smacked my bum bum. I laughed really hard, so I had to cut the audio right there and just like play the music really loud. <laughs> uh, no, that's awesome. But it's hey, fun. Everhaven, that's, that's a good place for us to end up. If you've listened right. to the show, then you know it's not a good place to end up. Right. Um, right. And if you don't understand, then go, go listen to it already. Come on. Yeah, you Seriously. Should. We get money from you listening. <laughs> in theory, I think. <laughs> Spotify doesn't. Anyway, um, yeah, so Will, tell us, tell us and the viewers your experience being the narrator of Everhaven. What was it like reconnecting with so many different actors? I, yeah. The story? yeah, it was really cool because like, I, I was there for every episode, and for every episode, there'd be like a whole new cast, pretty much. So I just kind of got to see the whole process from start to finish. It was. It's pretty cool. I got the the voice. I was probably I had it down to a formula at some point where I was just like, I just got to show up and. Yeah, it was really nice because all of the all the recording sessions were very professional and very. Uh, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, especially when they we were, were fine were, when you weren't in them. Yeah, no, they were. It was always professional. Nothing bad ever happened, and no one ever you, had to be kicked out of the call press? several times or anything. Oh yeah, I <laughs> you know if you're gonna allude to it, then I want to say on record, yes. Every time Erin was there with William, again, pre-dating, so she was a huge simp, uh, she would just, she'd, she'd be that guy who suddenly gets really funny when the handsome dude's around. Stop! It's so <laughs> <laughs> true. Okay, and she okay was, listen, I'm pretty sure it was only the first recording I was in that we weren't dating, so... Maybe. Yeah, so, no, like, well, you, you did some citizen voices for one of the earlier ones. Right, yeah. Oh, you're right. Hey. And I'm pretty sure every time you were in call, there was some some yeah. background changes happening and some. Uh, she got kicked out of the call so some many things, times. Some, some things shown on the background that we can't no. put up on screen. Thirty minute recording session, like three hours later, like Aaron, I'm gonna kill you. Just kidding. <laughs> it was all fun, and um, season one's all out now, so we can actually talk about the story as well. Oh. Cool, I, cool. I don't I didn't know what it was like for you because again you had access to every single episode but we recorded them out of order we did we did that's so, I, I mean it wasn't so bad for me because that's pretty common like filming stuff out of order like yeah. in film school and just in film in general but yeah I mean like I, I have like I, I was probably like one of the only actors that like outside of 
the core TCR that had like a full sort of grasp of the story mm. before it was all released. So, but it, but it was interesting, especially to hear like some of the effects done on some of the voices. Yeah, like uh, I remember like the the convenience store one with Adam's voice. Like that Adam, really cool. that one was that one was pretty good. That was pretty good. Did you have a favorite cast member to to narrate for? Um, I don't. Yeah. Whatever. Whenever we were talking, whenever I had to like say like the jump whopper or whatever. <laughs> no, like yeah. that, that I mean, that took me a couple tries to do without laughing, but that was that was really funny just to be like super serious, like the jump whopper stared into her eyes or whatever. That entire episode was a whole hassle to do because you had you had to seriously say they return to the whopper residence or something. Oh like that. yeah, yeah. And then well, Matt I, I felt laughing. I felt worse for Matt that had to like deliver like an emotional like heart to heart and like his weird voice. Well, and also when he had to yeah. say like my wife is a cockroach. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love my cockroach wife. That's my. If you ever if you ever do a spotlight on Adam, you should you should talk to him about the uh, the the incident during his. <laughs> All right. If I've you heard, see... I wasn't there, but I've heard of said incident. <laughs> Yeah, if you if you want to see um, Adam Vivian from Everhaven on Spotlight, uh, comments comments in the YouTube or oh, I'll, I'll message us on Facebook. We don't do we have a Facebook? We do have a Facebook that I made and updated for about like two weeks, and then I just forgot about <laughs> it. But the only person that followed the Facebook are my parents. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you, you you should get him on, and he's a he's a character already. Right. I uh, guess we'll have to consider now. That's the, <laughs> that's the equivalent to me saying I'll go check in the back. Just like don't, don't, don't get me and him on a podcast together. Good though, bad things. Yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> we're, gonna start, oh. we're gonna start talking rot. Oh my god, the rot talk. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> what if uh, we get a podcast where none of us are present, but it's just Will and Colin and Adam? That that would be awful. That would be an awful that's situation a, that, for the that's editor. That's a horrible idea. It's good thing that's not exactly. going to happen. Wink. Get us to do. Get us to do an art stream. Oh, that's what I'm saying. For, for the record, Colin Adam I are absolutely like horrendous. Really at good at any art. artistic endeavor. So, wish, uh, yeah, artist note. Um, again, if you're watching on YouTube and you can see Will's little character here, um, I drew him in the wrong outfit because outfit. <laughs> yeah, I drew him in the wrong outfits, and everyone knows that he only wears a green Dollarama shirt. Oh, it's yeah. Dollar Tree. Actually, is it actually? Yeah, yeah I was. Yeah, the, I bears. was the Dollarama. Right, right. And what so is, is Goldem. Mm-hmm. That'll do it. Yeah, Will's quite known when we play like Gartic Phone. If there's like a massive green with like blonde hair on it, that, that's it. Yeah, I, I seem to be the favorite subject for a lot of people. No, you're so Gartic. Dang handsome. Well, they normally draw me as like a little skinny like entity, so I don't know about that. But yeah, I don't know. You're just so fun to draw as a squealing blob. <laughs> it's hard. true. I am. I am a walking skeleton in real life, so I, I am very memeable. I'll say that. Aww, you're my walking skeleton. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the skeleton was the other guy. That was our last spotlight guest. Oh, true, true. I don't know if you know him, Toby Fully Baked Toberson. But we don't get. To, we don't have to plug him right now, so we're not gonna. <laughs> yeah, Will and uh, Will and Toby are definitely not affiliated in any way. So don't worry about that, viewers. That's really suspicious. Oh, because Toby's in the last episode of Everhaven, also. Yeah, yeah, obviously. So, uh, well, overall, how would you how would you uh, rate your experience working on the Town of Everhaven audio show? It was fun. I mean, I pretty much just got to show up and like hang out with people <laughs> and act, which I, I I do enjoy acting. I don't get to do much of it anymore uh, out in the big city, but yeah. no, it's, it's it was fun. Especially like like I said, just like seeing the whole process, like more or less, just from start to finish, mm-hmm. and interesting, and then seeing all the episodes. I guess some better questions would be because you getting to see it behind the scenes also included getting to see how unorganized it could be at times. I'm not ashamed. Yeah, to there know. there were a couple like last minute, like, hey, can you come record in like ten minutes? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which was never. I mean, like, I mean, I don't know. I don't care. I was fine, but yeah, I I remember. I was like, 
this is a really specific memory, but I remember being in the shower and like, oh my god, Will's gonna actually like kill me because I asked him to be in an episode ten minutes before it started. Why were you thinking about like Will that. in the shower, Leaf? Uh, I don't want to be on this episode anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess my, my final Everhaven question then, and then Aaron can ask some more questions, is what, what episode is your favorite to, to be on, and what episode would you recommend to anyone who hasn't seen it? Hmm. Interesting question. Um, I think my fit. so well, I can go, like, we're we're good on spoilers. I can yeah. I, can just, I think my favorite uh, episode to record was like kind of the big reveal that the Ever Haven was like the whole city and like when they got into like the the living heart room. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought I I liked that. It was cool. I, also, it was kind of fun because like my I, at some point like the heart like talks to my character directly. So I was kind of right. Kinda yeah. Um, yeah as for like cool. where to start, I would honestly just say the beginning. Because, like, it's kind of, like, it's episodic. Well, I mean, like, it's kind of individual stories, but, like, you kind of need to understand the setup. And I also think that the first episode is pretty good with, like, the... I forget what his name was, but, like, the little, like, creature that has voice. Oh, Zuba. Zuba, right, right. That's a good one. No, yeah, that, 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 one, that one was, like, a good setup and also, like, its own little contained story. I also really liked Ethan as Mayor Herbert. That that, yeah. election, that that election one was good. I, I forget what his line was specifically, but he was like, he was like, oh, he he was like confused as to whether or not he died. I was just like, oh, word, I'm alive. That's sweet. Yeah, he, he, oh my god, writing those lines was like we wrote them as if we were just writing like Ethan talks. So like having to <laughs> like, oh, we're like for sure, man. Like, yeah, totally. It was like, yeah, I know you wrote it with him. <laughs> big if true. Right? Big, <laughs> big and true. That's my favorite phrase. Ethan's also the one that I first heard the phrase "among coin" from. So I, I got among coin. Yeah, among yeah, coin. among coin. Made, made me, that was the hardest I laughed in like years. Oh god, stupidest joke. I don't want to know about among coin. <laughs> this it's nothing. It's just among coin. Okay, good to know. You know well, what, Aaron? Enjoy. You know what? That's my next question. What's among? No, I'm just kidding, Aaron. You ask the <laughs> question. I ask the questions. What kind of questions yeah, am question. I asking? Anything you want to know about William that you don't already know? Hmm. I'm waiting with bated breath. Hey, come on, you, got, you can't put me on the spot like this. Well, you wanted to talk about my uh, my my current living situation, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, how are the ants? So, <laughs> so give give I, our audience, why don't you give our audience like a nice little so, taste of what it's like to be a college student. Right, so I go to college in Toronto, but... For anyone who does not know, living in Toronto is very expensive. Basically, I just earn as much money as I can during the summer, and then I have to move out so I can go back to where I'm from and then earn money during the summer again for the next year. So I'm living in a, um, well, it's not exactly a luxurious place. I'm living in a room in a basement, and all of my stuff is gone because I I sent it back with my family, but I'm staying because there's a screening for one of the films that I worked on, so I want to be there for that. Uh, and there, it's just become spring and there's just ants like crawling out of my walls, just like all over. Like I've got, it's like the little place where the wall meets the floor and the ants just come out and I can't stop them. And all I've got is a bed and a blanket, but there's no sheets or anything. It's just like a loose blanket. So I'm just like fighting off ants and I'm have like no food or money. So I'm just like, (laughs) all all I do is just kind of like sit on my bed and be hungry and kill ants until, until I have to go to sleep. And then. I've been doing that for the past couple days, and, uh, and if there's any, if it sounds like the room's echoing, it's because there's literally, literally nothing in it besides a bed and ants and ants, yeah. yeah. But at least, yeah, if I get, at least if I get hungry, I can, you know. Just... <laughs> yeah, I get some protein. I was gonna make the joke that it's like the all men born after 1999 only do five things: be hungry, have no money, kill ant, and two other things. It's like men only have four moods. <laughs> Yo, that's it, yeah. Real ant. Which Minecraft oh, character are you? Well, Aaron, I'll give you a, another chance. This is your last chance to ask a good time-consuming question before I pull out my secret surprise segment. Oh, boy. I, I mean, I do have one question, but, you know, that's that's for the end, so we don't... For the end. Well... Yes? <laughs> besides Everhaven, what would you say is your favorite thing that TCR has created? Oh, good. Let me think about that for a sec. 
We got because you know we got the animations, we got the podcasts, we got the shows, we got the social media prompts. We I, got... I'll, I'll be honest, I've really been liking like I know there's only two of them so far, but I've been liking the little mini comics of just like you guys hanging out, Woo! going yeah. on adventures. Yeah, there's oh, there's plenty of those to come, and there we got a lot of fun stuff coming. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I like I like the, I like seeing your like personas. You know, like using their powers and whatever, and just like vibing the TCR well, headquarters. Who's your favorite TCR member? Yeah, Will. Who's your favorite member of yeah, Team Code Red? Yeah, who's your favorite member? Of Team um, who's your favorite? Uh, and why is it Leaf makes Code Red? Hey. Well, so that sounds like my answer's been picked from already. <laughs> there you go. There you have it, folks. <laughs> On record, uh, William Smith loves Leaf Wally the most. Oh, there she goes. Oh, never mind. I'm just. I, I listen. I I love all the the TCR crew, but it's got to be Aaron. I think it's got to be Tanner. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm can come look back. At her. Look at her. Look at her. Good there. Yeah. It's a really good question. So, speaking of Aaron Tangeran, I'm going to uh, reveal my secret surprise segment oh, and explain boy. it. I first. love surprises. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this surprise, Will. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one I feel has been a long time coming. Right. Um, because now I am just going to I'm gonna give you a little reading. I'm going to read you a collection of messages of Aaron simping over you. Oh, oh okay. that was a good surprise. Good surprise. <laughs> this is going in the podcast? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I won't I'll, only only the family friendly ones. Only the family friendly ones. What the, the, you're just gonna make me sit here and listen to this? Yes. Okay. On January tenth, twenty twenty two, Aaron says Guys, this is the worst. Why do I want to kiss the tall blonde man? Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I was looking through these earlier. There's a bunch of good ones. <laughs> oh, Lord. This one she said, oh, this one there. She says, society, if I dreamt it about anything other than him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Risa says, oh yeah, I forgot about Will. Aaron says, ha 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 ha, I sure didn't. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Wait, wait, when was that, when was that one? Uh, that was January 12th. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my um, god. <laughs> um, let's this, see. Is, this, is, this is pre- This is pre us dating. Oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, that makes We're it not... worse, don't tell them that. <laughs> 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 more, more, more. Hold on, let's no. see here. What is this? <laughs> what is what? This segment. This is called this is Embarrass, Embar- yeah. Embarrass Aaron segment. Yeah, like it's it. called Embarrass Aaron in front of her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't find it. <laughs> oh, I'm getting close, I feel. God. Hmm. Listen, if it's any consolation, if I had any messages like that, I, I would let you guys read them. Actually, Oh, right. Okay, so here's a few messages of Aaron prior to hanging out with Will. She sends us her outfit and says, this is my courting outfit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> January 15th, 2022, Aaron says, Will and I hugged, and I'm at melting. Hmm, the at was that, the at symbol. This is when I was having a lot of water, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then she says, guys, I'm so wanting. Hez so pretty. Guys, I'm a little drink, but I'm, like, swooning. <laughs> oh, much water. <laughs> then she Dude. goes, he smash. Will said I'm cute. We were, were literally cuddling. I'm drunk. From water. Mm, sounds about right. <laughs> messed up. The next morning, Aaron says a bunch of like heart cutie emojis. Where, where's the one that was like tattoos this on my body? Oh, no. <laughs> like one of the messages I sent. I'm just scrolling through. Maybe I'll see that. Oh, and then we have some insecure Aaron from the next morning. Oh. Um, Aaron goes. Right, so she says, I- I'm unsure again if it's one-sided, and we're all telling her, no, you're like, you're being silly, and she's like, yeah, but like, we were both drunkies, so what if today he's actually like, ew, and Thomas goes, I mean this in the most loving way possible, but that's stupid. Huh. Sorry, that's I'm my just... favorite <laughs> Thomas message I've ever received. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> I, th- this can end at any second, just like, I here's one from I hope my mom doesn't here. watch this one. <laughs> <And> then... <laughs> She says, I'm sorry I'm in my annoying era and can't talk about anything else, but I'm simping. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> January 17th, 2022, Aaron says, 
I accidentally just killed a homeless man. I didn't mean to, but he grabbed my bag and I hit him too hard. He fell to the concrete. That's, none of this is real. I'm sorry. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice cover up, please. <laughs> okay. Um, January 16th. This is all the same day as like the Thomas quote. <laughs> that makes it um, so much worse. <laughs> she sends a, a screenshot of Will calling her a monkey demon. She goes, oh, he called me a pet name. <laughs> I think we're getting next, close to the tattoos list on my body. Uh, that's, that's a the good next, one. No. The next one is uh, she. She says, "Waked up to will conversation that I didn't start this time with the no escape emoji." No. There, I found it. I found it. Oh. Um, will texted Aaron and said, "Nah, you were really sweet. It was nice." And then Aaron said, "Tattoos this on my body." <laughs> I'm so messed up. <laughs> yeah. And then like, okay, all time. this happened before we were dating. I this makes me sound like a sociopath. Yeah, <laughs> you made a meme. <laughs> you made a meme. Oh, was it uh, the boxers? <laughs> two guys boxers. One is the fact that I might have COVID. The other is the fact that Will and I have been texting all day. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we almost got COVID at that party. Yeah, oh, cute. Then there's a message where Aaron realizes that. Will looks like half of her childhood crushes. Oh, yeah, that's true. Actually. Yeah, I have a peg leg. <laughs> that's canon. Yeah, that's if, my, if, 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 my, if, my, if my little, like, if my little, like, icon ever gets legs, you gotta draw it with a peg leg. But, well, yeah, that's the day I discovered how much you look up, look like Hiccup from How to Stream Your Dragon. I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't see it. Really? Oh, I don't. I found the big moment. Oh? oh. I found, I found the message from January eighteenth was the day that it that it started. Um, yep. I found the screenshot of Will's of Will's the notification Will's message and Aaron hyper hyperventilating mid podcast. I so. I like I I kid you not. I genuinely was like hyperventilating when you sent me that text. I was like, <laughs> I was I'm not like, gonna read it because that's like more personal, but. The I was like trying to stay will. cool because we were recording, but my heart was beating like a thousand miles an hour, and I was like, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god!" You hear this stuff? And after that, I was like texting you back, but I was like standing up and I was just like pacing around my room, like, "Oh, oh, oh no, oh, no, oh, no!" Hmm. Pretty good. Well, I'll I'll end the suffering there. That's enough for um. Thank you. Thank you. I, I I was expecting something bad like on my end, like I was gonna have to like do some improv thing or something. I mean, hey, if you'd like. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, look, I can't improv the improv segment. Anyway, I think it's about time we give the microphone to Mr. Conchicus himself. Let, let Will ask us some questions. Ooh. Oh, I'm asking you some questions. Mm -hmm. Put a spin on it. Okay. Well, I, I have some idea of what projects are coming up, but is there anything you can tell me? Just like little sneak peeks that I might not have heard of yet? Mm, no. Okay. Well,. You know what? I think we can say it here. Will, you mentioned that one of your favorite things that we've made is our mini-comics. So I, I feel like it's not like a huge, crazy reveal to say that we got it. Risa, our hairspray queen, has been, she's been working on like a story arc for our mini-comics, a really big one. And yes. it's really exciting. She came up with a really cool plot. We can't tell you anything about it. Other right, than right. It's going to be like four months worth of comics. Um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty spicy. So if you like That's seeing fun. our adventures, you're gonna like it. Not we should also uh, say that I believe it has made her cry writing some of it. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, wow, the emotions. I like to see the emotions exactly. All right, another important question: What's your what are both your guys' favorite movies? Shoot. Oh, okay. I like live action or animation. Uh, either. Yeah. For me, um, animated would have to be Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. I love that movie. That's yeah, definitely yeah. up there for me. Yeah. What about non-animated? I've never seen a live-action film. Out of just protest for film students, I no, have not yeah. watched a yeah, single one. Uh, Aaron, you give your answers because i got to think about that one. Okay, film well, film well, students are right there under like theater students as like, most annoying people ever. <laughs> My favorite animated film is... How to Train Your Dragon. Of course. Nice, nice. I will never get tired of that movie. Spider-Verse is definitely up there. And then my favorite um, live action film. It's it's a tie, but it's a three-way tie between Bohemian Rhapsody, Rocket mm -hmm. Man, 
right. and the Truman Show. Oh, I haven't seen it. Those are all It's really good. I need to see I, my fa- I, I don't really have a favorite movie, but I did just watch the uh, the Lighthouse. I heard like, that one was good. It, it's oh. it's it's definitely not for everybody. But oh it's like, well, one of think. well, no, you two would probably uh, you two will get along very well because Leaf will told me that one of his favorite movies is Midsummer. Hi, oh, yeah, Midsummer is so great. Well. Yes, uh, I I enjoyed Midsummer quite a lot, mainly just because I love Florence Pugh. She's my favorite actress. But mm-hmm. yeah, that one was great. I, I I I like I like that they went for like a horror thing in a very like well lit, beautiful setting. It was interesting. I'm glad you said that actually, Will, because I I feel like I can say to go back to your earlier question. Um, we're working on a we're working on a secret project with a bit more horror. Yes. Right, right. Do it, but I I don't know much about that. Um. I'm not. I don't. I don't go here. Oh, and I re- remembered my favorite movie of live action. I mean, like not to be basic, but it's the Young highest. Young Sheldon. <laughs> Shut up, Young Sheldon. The highest grossing movie ever, Morbius. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Not Morbius. No, it's it's not. It's hard to say, but I recently saw Everything Everywhere All at Once, and that's got to be up there because that really? was. Really, I don't think I've heard of that one. Really, it's it's incredible. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear about it either. Uh, otherwise, I'll, I'll was... admit to not being as much of like a movie head as other film students, but I still do like movies. But no, I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, I, I mainly watch Marvel movies for the most part. I'm not ashamed to admit. But that one, Everything oh, Everywhere All at Once, I'd recommend looking into it because it's really cool. I oh, watch yeah. Megamind. Oh, uh, yeah! Uh, yeah, my, oh, yeah, Megamind's good. I like Megamind. A classic, even. So I think we're, we're starting to run low on time, but I, I would actually like to ask Will. What makes filmmaking so fun to you? Like, where does that passion come from? Um, I mean, it's a lot of the same thing as like acting, where it's like I just like making people laugh or just like getting a reaction out of people for stuff that I've done. But film is like I don't know. It, it's very satisfying to like because like with theater, it's like you can't unless there's like a recording of it. You can't really like look back and see like the final product. But I, I think like the fact that like at the end of filming, you have like you have like an actual thing that you can look back on and kind of relive the experience. And then if you're doing it professionally, it's kind of like, you know, every year is like a new experience, right? It's not just like yeah. doing the same thing every single year, which would drive me crazy. Mm-hmm. No way. But yeah, no, I, I think just that like having like a finished product at the end that I can look back on and it can entertain people. It's kind of what I like about it. Good answer. I mean, I've, I've had to answer that. I had to answer that on my application, actually. Oh, really? Oh, no, yeah. This is the part where I take off my mask, and it's actually me, the registration office of whatever university. I do know what university. I just don't want to say it, but yeah. it's, it's me, registration. <laughs> I have to go with the registration again? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I got in two years ago. No, that was a lie. Well, no, I mean, my lovely place of higher education actually misplaced my application i thought i didn't get in at first yeah yeah no it was like well i was supposed to get our offers back in like march and i didn't get mine till like june but i I never got anything i never got anything back saying that i didn't get in so i just like i just emailed the registration guy and he was like oh yeah it's right here it just never got submitted and i was like all right cool thanks cool thanks (laughs) But but after that, I got in. So uh, all as well as well, I guess. Well, who knows what other opportunities life might throw your way very soon, William? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, ominous remarks um, aside. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was those quite <laughs> foreshadowing. Let's let's just say here at TCR we like Will, and um, yes. you'll probably see him again sooner sooner than you'll think. Will likes TCR. Good answer. <laughs> yeah, you read yeah. that, and now you read the script. <laughs> yeah, I got an extra extra little bonus for that one. Yeah, a little, you get more bozo bucks. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm cashing in for the big prize. The big prize is a smooch from Aaron. Aaron, hey! speaking of which, would yeah. you like to close us off? <gasps> yes. Oh. Seems only fitting that Will stopped you from ending an episode one time, so now you can end it with him. Aw. Well, yeah. Will, I finally have a question that I thought of. But... Right. You know, you're really, you're very talented, a very talented man, very talented filmmaker. So, you know, I thought it was only 
only fitting that I I end this with a nice film related question for you. Right. Um, oh my goodness, just, going, to show but... your passion, to show your love for TCR that we all appreciate. Would you Would I? still love me if I was a shrimp? Uh, yes, absolutely. I put you in a little cocktail. Yay! I well, how did that how did that relate to film though? What do you mean? You said it related to film for now. Yeah, and that's all the time we've got. Yay! Yay! Yay. Yay. Thanks so much for thanks so much for being here. Thanks for talking to us. My pleasure. And, um, Thank you for loving shrimp, Aaron. I guess. Yay! Well, it was it was a pleasure to have you, and I hope we'll see you again soon someday. Aaron, any final I closing so. words? I love you. Hmm. Love you too. <laughs> and I love you, audience. Yeah. God, I'm so sick of third wheeling. Let's end this. <laughs>